what do we need from you or what do you need from your customer to recommend the best grade and machining conditions. You need the following information. The current competitor and their grade. Examples NTK SX8 or Valinite Q6 or Kenametal Kion 3500. The workpiece material and its hardness. Examples would be cast iron 189 to 229 Brunel or 4140 steel Rockwell C40. The current speed. Surface feet per minute or workpiece diameter and the rotations per minute. Feed, inches per revolution, and depth of cut. Is it a continuous or an interrupted cut? What is the current grade's mode of failure? Is it premature wear, chipping, fracturing, maybe they want longer tool life, or quicker cycle time, or maybe they want a better surface finish? Let's take a moment and go over some common troubleshooting tips. Flank and nose wear. This is the best kind of wear problem. Normal flank and nose wear makes for very predictable tool wear. Normally, nose wear will be slightly larger than flank wear. However, excessive or premature wear can be the result of too slow of a speed for the ceramic. Unlike carbide, which wears when going too fast, Ceramic prematurely wears when going too slow. Ceramic does wear when going too fast also, but that speed limit is extremely high. Notching. Notching is a large amount of wear at the depth of cut line. Notching is normal when machining hard materials, work hardened materials, and high temperature alloys. You can decrease or stop notching by increasing the lead angle of the tool holder, increasing the insert edge prep, the T-land, decreasing the speed or feed rate, varying the depth of cut, or selecting a harder insert grade. Chipping. Chipping is when small pieces of the insert edge break off rather than wear down. First, you must have a good rigid setup. We have had chipping because of bad machining bearings. Check the shim seat to see if there is a burr on it or if it is pitted. Check the pocket to see if there is any foreign material on it or burrs on it. Make sure that the insert is not moving in the cut. You may have to increase the edge prep, choose a stronger insert style, or use a tougher insert grade. Plastic defamation. Plastic defamation happens when the excessive heat causes the insert edge to soften and deform, or change its shape. This happens much more with carbide and cermet than with black and white ceramic or silicon nitride. Because ceramic and silicon nitride have a much higher hot hardness than either carbide or cermet, they retain their shape at much higher temperatures. Plastic deformation can be reduced by using coolant. Crater wear. Crater wear is an erosion of the insert's top surface behind the nose or edge of the insert. This is formed from a chip hitting the insert surface. In ceramic and silicon nitride, the crater can grow large enough to weaken the cutting edge, but this is very rare. Crater wear isn't a problem if the maximum flank wear is reached before the crater hits the edge prep. Selecting a harder insert grade, using a mechanical chip breaker, or using coolant usually solves the problem. Fracturing. Fracturing is when the cutting force becomes greater than the mechanical strength of the insert, causing a large chunk of the insert to break off. Some people call this catastrophic failure. Some solutions are making sure the machine is rigid and the tool holder is in good shape. Making sure the fracturing isn't caused by excessive wear progressing too far, selecting a tougher insert grade, or just using a thicker insert. A few times when a CNG 433 fractured, we took out the shim seat and put in a CNG 453 and it worked out great. Or you can just get a tool holder for a CNG 453 and put the shim seat back in. Chatter. Chatter is when the insert is cutting over the surface of the workpiece unevenly, producing wavy lines. 
possible causes are a lack of rigidity in the machine, the insert cutting below center, insufficient machine power, etc. Solutions are having a rigid setup and the insert cutting on center. If these don't work out and you have a rigid setup and sufficient power, try having the insert cut at two to three thousandths of an inch above center. This solves most of the chatter problems. Thermal cracking. Thermal cracking is caused by rapid changes in temperature at the insert's cutting edge. Ceramic and silicon nitride will thermal crack much quicker than carbide or cermet. Use only ceramic and silicon nitride with no coolant at all or a good flood of coolant on the tip of the insert. Mist sprayers or a lack of consistent coolant flow on the tip of the insert will cause black and white ceramic and silicon nitride to thermal crack.